when you're traveling, it can be really hard to stay up on your maintenance, but chain maintenance is something that's very, very critical, both in cleaning, lubrication, and adjustment. I keep all the tools I need on the bike for easy to access location. I've got a tool tube to keep on the inside of my pannier here. What I really need is something for a side stand. I don't have a center stand, so I have a, an extra stand for that. And I need a toothbrush. Other than that, I'm at the gas station. Diesel is what I'm gonna use to clean and lubricate the chain. It's easy to come by. And it's, well, it's one of the best things to do when I travel. You can find diesel everywhere you go. To make up for my center stand, I have two pieces of aluminum angle iron that I have them set up right around 15 inches in height when they're bolted together. That'll allow me to get the back wheel up off the ground so I can access the chain to clean it and to adjust it or at least to check the adjustment. So the bike doesn't roll off the side, side stand. I keep a piece of Velcro strap right here next to the front handlebar. And that allows me to strap the front brake. I use this when I'm on trails pointed downhill, but also works really well for maintenance or for doing tire changes. Once I have the front brake locked, I put a number 10 1.5 pitch bolt in the swing arm here for the KTM. It allows me to stand the bike up on the side stand, put the aluminum stand underneath it, and then that allows me to spin the wheel to adjust the chain or to lubricate the chain. Next, I grab a rag. This is just a piece of old t-shirt that I've cut up. And then I scrounged up an old aluminum can. And what I want to do with the can is just turn it into a cup. Doesn't really matter how big it is. It just needs to be enough. To hold just a little bit of diesel in the bottom. That way I can clean the bike. Sorry about the low key. I'm really exhausted. All right. Now we just need some cleaning supplies. The sweet thing about doing it this way, oh, my glove just broke, is that diesel is easy to find, but also you don't really need to buy the diesel. There's enough left in the pump that you can scavenge just enough to clean the chain. Yeah, my glove broke. Well, so what I did is just put the bike in neutral here so I can free spin. Put my rag under here and just dip my, my toothbrush in the diesel. Now diesel will not hurt your O-rings and it works quite well to clean. Although toothbrush this, I think this may take just a little bit of time. And diesel also works pretty well because it dries on the chain. It also works pretty well as a, a chain protectant. I try to keep something underneath the wheel so I'm not spilling diesel all over the ground. By the time I'm done, most every all the diesel in this cup will be will be used for the cleaning. And most importantly, these high-end bikes like the KTM and the BMWs and the, the T700 and all these bikes all have O-ring chains. And what that means is that the chains are internally lubricated. I'll show you an example of that. See, I have a chunk of chain with me. So if you look at the chain right here, 
This little section in here between the outer plate and the inner links, there's an O-ring in there. And that's what we're really doing. When we clean the chain, we're trying to clean it so that that area there doesn't get a bunch of gunk and grime in it because the pin that runs through the chain is lubricated internally. So as long as we protect that O-ring and keep it lubricated and we keep the fluid on the inside, our chains can be in good shape. Rust on the outside is cosmetic and eventually can be a problem, but mostly the most important part, just keeping this thing clean. Next, I wanna go ahead and check for chain tension. And this one here is just a little bit loose. Should be about 25 millimeter, which is just a little under an inch. So we'll go and make a quick adjustment on that. A little pro tip. And that is, often when you stop on the side of the road, you end up sharing tools with other riders and you lose your tools. So I mark all of my tools with a stripe. The 790 is really quite easy. Once you break the axle nut free, then you can slide it forward and backwards very easily. There's no pinch bolts or anything like that on it. And then on your adjuster, this is your adjuster bolt here. And this nut on the back side is just a, a jam nut. And that just keeps it so things don't move when you don't want them to. Now tighten the chain up. All we're going to do is back this nut out. That's going to push the axle backwards. And each time I move it, it will move the axle just very slightly. So whatever I do on one side, I do it on the other. And when you adjust the chain, it's very important that you check on both sides, make very small adjustments and check constantly as you're going. Worst case scenario, you make it too tight, you loosen it up a little bit, and you kick your axle forward. What I'm measuring is I'm, I'm coming to the, the center of the chain where it has the most slack. I'm checking from the bottom to the top. And the distance between those should be about 25 millimeters. So for me, it's just enough where it should touch the swing arm. And most importantly, don't over tighten your chain it'll pull and wear out the sprockets it'll also stretch and, and damage your chain but once you get your tension right take your jam nuts tighten them back up make sure the axle is all the way forward tighten up your axle nut Once you get that off, take our side stand off. And then that's all there is really. Like I already said, that's really all there is to it. And this is really something that's supposed to be very, very regular maintenance. Depending on the manufacturer, chain maintenance, both cleaning and to check the adjustment, should be done every 500 miles. Which means if you're on a good road trip, that's at least once a day. So every single day when you get to the hotel or when you get to camp, you should be checking your chain and cleaning it. And that's it. Adventure riding is a whole lot more than just riding on trails. Uh, keeping your bike running top-notch, prevention, and enjoying the pavement too.